Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do uh, my current favorites. I do want to say that there's not going to be any uh, baby items in this favorite as I just did uh, my baby favorites for Weston uh, for around his four month time. So if you would rather watch what I like for him, then I'll leave the link down below for you so you can go check that out. But today I'm going to be doing my current favorites. So first I'm going to start out with some clothing items for you. So I'm not sure if all of you know, but Sean and I have currently really gotten into running. We try to run every other day or at least three days a week. Um, with that being said, I am obsessed with these shorts. They look orange on this camera, but they're actually more of a pink color. They are, um, let's see, New Balance Dry brand. Uh, they're in a medium for me. The reason that I like them though, and one of the reasons, is that they have this under area underneath the shorts that are other shorts. Basically like um, what I call compression shorts. And it just makes it easier because I know when I'm running a lot of times in just typical running shorts, they like to ride up, which is not comfortable at all. And when they have those little shorts underneath, then it doesn't really matter. You can't tell if they're riding up or not. So I've really been liking running in these. My next favorite clothing item. Um, so uh, I work two days a week and my boss's dress code is not very strict. So she allows us to wear like colored jean pants. Like not typical jeans, but just like the colored ones. So here is a beautiful teal pair of jeans and these are my favorite i get them in the regular jean color i get it on these different colors and they're old navy rock star jeans and if you're short like me then you know it's a struggle trying to find straight legged pants oh yeah they are straight legged but trying to find straight legged pants that either aren't four miles too long so that you're trying to fit them in your boots or you're trying to make them look like little capris and you have like a 20 inch fold at the bottom but these I get in the shorts or petite whatever one you want to call it and they fit me like perfect so I absolutely love these. I have them in like five or six different colors. So the next category I'm going to talk about is makeup, face, stuff like that. So I have two of those as well. The first one is going to be the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I have it on today and this is just one coat of it and I think it does great it's good price and this is my third bottle of this I believe it lasts me a pretty good amount of time as well so I feel like it's a good value for money the second one is this Neutrogena fresh foaming cleanser and I used to use the wipes on my face to remove my makeup but I felt like even after I used them, I didn't fully, my face was not fully clean. Like I would get out of the shower and like use the towel to dry off my face and then there would still be makeup on the towel. And I'm like, okay, so obviously this isn't cleaning my skin very well. So I did pick this up at just our local Walmart and tried it out and I absolutely love it. I feel like it really takes off my makeup. It even takes off my eye makeup as well. And I absolutely love this. So I just purchased another bottle in case I ran out. Next item that I want to show you is kind of a weird item. But if I didn't put it in my favorites, I would be lying. I'm just going to reach over here and get it. So <laughs> my favorite drink right now is the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Um, they just changed their packaging, but to me it tastes exactly the same. But I have literally been obsessed with Coke Zero. If I'm not drinking water or if I'm not drinking... Um, crystal light and this is definitely what I drink. I love it. Um, you get the coke but with not as much sugar. Uh, basically zero sugar, zero carbs, and zero calories. So you kind of can't beat it and I'm definitely one that likes her fizzy drink. So perfect option for me. The next, I know these favorites are really random so I apologize for that but I'm just being honest with you guys. The next favorite item that I have is my phone case. So this is the third one that I have had, second one for this phone, but I used to have one for my iPhone 5 when I had it. But there are these, it's going to be hard to tell, but it is the OtterBox brand. 
but it's not the huge bulky one. So if you can tell, it just cups around the side and it's thin. See how thin that is? I cannot handle big bulky phone cases. So I do have the, I think it's the OtterBox Defender, I think is the bulky one, or Commuter, it's one of the two. This is the OtterBox Symmetry. It's perfect for me. I have dropped my phone on pavement, on my hardwood, everywhere. It protects it well for me. Um, we were actually running yesterday and I was just trucking along and dropped my phone on the floor on the track and it was absolutely fine. I love it. Lightweight. I did, the only thing is I had a pink one. It was like a light pink on the back and then like a maroon around the edges. Maybe vice versa. Anyways. And if you're like me and you wear makeup, then you're holding your phone. And I had like this makeup ring around it because it was that pink color. And so the next time I ordered one, I got the all black. And I think it definitely holds color better. Because and in the back of the pink one, sometimes if you, because I lay my phone down on its back a lot, then it lost, it lost, it lost its color as well and faded and kind of got darker. So I really like the black one. The next thing I want to talk about is I randomly saw um, a couple of books laying around my house the other day and I was like, I really need to get back into reading. And so I started reading the Twilight, first Twilight book and like less than a week later I had it completely read. So I'm now starting on the second one which is New Moon and I'm not a big reader um, but this is my third time reading this so I don't know what it is about these books that I love so much but I'm really happy that I have got back into it because we are going on our beach trip um, in a couple of weeks so I hopefully will probably be done with this one and I'll be on the third one by the time we go to the beach so really into these books right now I just sit down when Weston's napping for sure and I'll even go outside try to get some sun and sit out there and read and I love it. It's so therapeutic for me. It's just my time away when I'm reading. I don't think about things. I don't think about what's going on and the stress and everything else. So it's been really loving these. The next two things that I want to talk about is TV shows. So Sean and I um, have gotten into two TV shows a lot this summer. One of them we, I've, more than him, I've been into for probably the past three years. Uh, but it's Big Brother. Basically, if you don't know what Big Brother is, between 15 to 20 people, depending on the season, go into this house and they play a game where they'll do um, competitions to see who will win. Whoever wins then puts two people up to go home. They have a competition where you can save yourself. If you don't, then one of those two people will go home that week. The whole house votes, that person leaves, and then it's all the way like that until the end. My description of it does not make it sound near as <laughs> great as it is, but you really should check it out. This year we're about halfway into the season of Big Brother, and it is so good. I love it so much. It comes on three times a week, which is even better, uh, Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So it, it's one of those TV shows that you're not waiting a whole week to find out what happens, so that's nice. Um, the second TV show, which somehow I just found this year, is called Nashville. Luckily, we were, we started recording it where it recorded permanently, and it went all the way back and showed us every single season, so we are now caught up on Nashville. It ended a couple of weeks ago, I believe, and it doesn't come back on until January, which I'm super sad about. Just of that show is that, basically, it's a family and friends who, um, thing for their career. Basically it's their struggles and their fortunes and their family and it, it's really really good. You should definitely go check it out as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this video about my current favorites. I will link all of them down below for you. I would love to hear what your favorites are so that I can try those as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!